Hello everyone. I hope everyone is healthy and safe. In this recipe, we're going to start to do falafel. And this kind of falafel is a stuffed falafel. For the falafel, we need half falafel mix and then a cup of water. If you want to use the whole thing, you need to do uh, more water. But this one, I use the water until it just becomes smooth. To stuff it, we need one large onion. So with the onion, I chop it. I use this little chopper. It has a thread to chop and three plates. I try to make the onions chop almost fine, fine chopping, like this. And this is the kind of sumac I use in this recipe for this stuffing. Now I'm going to saute the onion. To saute the onion, we need to add one teaspoon of sumac. Then quarter teaspoon of sea salt. You can add salt as much as you want. It depends how much salt. Usually I don't use much salt in my food. And this is oil, vegetable oil. It's mixed between olive oil and canola oil. You can use more oil if you need. If you need to, you look at the the, the onion inside the frying pan, and in this, in my situation, I needed a little bit more of oil. So you said you saute the onion with the sumac and oil until it become soft. So here I keep stirring it, and of course I use low heat, between low and medium heat. Now we're going to make the chickpeas dip. Lots of people ask me how I do my chickpeas dip. The fastest way to do it is to use a can like this one, and this one is cedar. With the chickpeas, I warm it up a little bit in the microwave. I put usually five minutes. So we need for this recipe, yellow lemon juice, garlic, two cloves of garlic, and I chop it in the food processor. I add the, well, I squeeze the lemon. And I add it to the food processor. And I add the salt. The salt is up to you how much you use. I use usually quarter to half teaspoon, depends on the amount I'm using. Amount of the chickpeas. I add four to six tablespoons of tahini. You can use um, ice cubes if you want to make the Chickpeas more creamy, but in my recipes, I never use the ice cubes. I only use the tahini, and I mix them in the food processor together. The garlic, lemon. Now I add the chickpeas. 
I don't put the water on the chickpeas yet. If I need to make it more smooth, then I add more. So now I'm using the this machine to the food processor to make it smooth. So here I need more, so I add more water from the that's the water from the pan when I microwaved it. That's how it looks uh, so smooth, like this. So now I'm going to put it in the serving plate. So this is the way I do the decoration. With the tablespoon, I go around to make like, um, like a whole type of thing to add other things to let it stay and stick. And this is the paprika. So I'm going to use the paprika to do the decoration top of the chickpeas dip. So I use the paprika first. Then I add the extra virgin olive oil like this. I put it, I go around and I make the oil go around the whole, inside the whole plate. I decorate the top with parsley. Sometimes uh, I put, I leave a few of the chickpeas, I put them in the middle of the plate. But this time I didn't put, I didn't do that. I just put the parsley in the middle and I chopped the other and I put it around the plate. And this is how it looks like when it's done. It looks so nice, doesn't it? Now we are going to do the sage bread. The sage bread is like the tortilla. So for, we need for that, for my family, I used one cup of flour, or purpose flour. But if you have your family bigger than, we are three in my family, but you have more, then you need two cups of flour and one cup of water. Little bit of salt and olive oil or vegetable oil. So I mix the flour with the, I mean, I put the salt on the flour and mix it together. Then I put the oil and then I use the water to mix to to make the dough you put more oil it become better uh, bread will be more soft I put it aside to, to rest then I start to make the falafel. I spray on the aluminum foil and I use my hand to do the falafel. So now I'll show you more. So I make it flat. I put the mixer, the mixture of the um, stuffing, which is the onion with sumac and, and vegetable oil in the middle. Then I close it. Then I put it aside. And I'm doing now another one to just to show you. I put the stuffing inside. Then I close it. And if I have a gap, I use some of the um, dough of the falafel dough. We are going to make the bread, the sage bread. So I'm making it, I'm making it to a small amount. I try to flat it, flatten it in this recipe. 
because I'm going to use the machine to to roll it the machine does rolling and baking at the same time so I use this Pam olive oil I spray on the machine before I use it and then put it in the socket to heat a little bit I put the heat as much as I want it I love this machine because it's um, it's two things it flattens the bread and it bakes it so I try to see if the oil for the falafel is ready I put my hand on top of the oil just to see the heat that's how I check it then I put the first falafel in this recipe my husband uh, helps me to fry the falafel and actually to do the the sage bread as well so I put a little bit of oil on my uh, I flat the dough a little bit with my hand then I put oil then I put it in the machine see here I put the oil then I put it in the machine and I close it then I keep my hand on the machine a little bit to make it it makes it flat and this is how it looks when it's done. This is the falafel when it's done. And in this one here, I added the um, tomato. I sliced the tomato and the cucumber. It goes with it to make a sandwich. You can eat it with pita bread like this, or you can eat the uh, chickpeas dip with vegetables but that day the one the day I made this these recipes I made a sandwich I want to show you how it looks like from inside so this is the onion sauteed onion with sumac I'm going to open the second one just to show you this is how it looks from inside Bon appetit. I hope my recipe, you like my recipe. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again. Bye for now.